This afternoon, we're hearing from the teens at the center of that violent smoke shop robbery for the very first time. That's right. We first shared video from inside the store last week showing the owner of the shop grabbing a knife and stabbing one of the would be robbers. Today, only the 8 News Now I teens Vanessa Murphy was in court as the case against the teens moves forward. We do want to warn you video in this report is of a sensitive nature. Two of the teens admitted to the robbery here in juvenile court, while the third, who was stabbed by the store owner, remains in the hospital. Do you admit or deny that you did it? I admit this. Also, in your agreement, you agree to pay restitution on all counts, even those that have been dismissed. Is that correct? Uh. Two teens pleading guilty to this robbery at a Las Vegas smoke shop on August 3rd, while this teen still recovers after the store owner repeatedly stabbed him when he jumped over the counter. Wednesday in court, Judge Sonny Bailey allowing our camera with the condition of not identifying the teens or their parents. Here, she addresses the teen seen here at the door. Rather than render aid, you and the other co-defendant took off and left him and left in a ride share. The 8 News Now I team learning all three teens already have juvenile records. The teen at the door on probation. The teens at the counter on GPS monitoring. Judge Bailey is demanding answers. Court expects probation to appear to explain to this court how two co defendants on a GPS managed to not have their units and their alarms off and not be picked up in violation of their GPS when this offense occurred. It was also revealed the teens met in drug court. Instead of going to drug court and trying to, you know, uh, get, get control over your urges, he's over there meeting up with accomplices and planning, planning uh, crimes and committing crimes. The attorney for the teen in the hospital says until swelling goes down from his injuries, it's unclear what the damage will be. The store owner has not been arrested and he says he feared for his life. Metro police say this is an ongoing investigation and the case will be forwarded to the Clark County District Attorney's Office to make a decision. The attorney for the teen at the door says there is no indication any of them had weapons. No guns, no knives, and nothing um, of the sort. But unfortunately, things happened the way that they did. Both teens who agreed to the plea deal have not yet been sentenced. Reporting from Juvenile Court, Vanessa Murphy, live, local, now. And according to Juvenile Probation, the teen at the door may have tried to previously rob the same smoke shop. He also may have known the store owner kept a knife. The teens are expected back in court in two weeks' time.